Hello, how are you doing? All good. How much are you getting to? They're pretty sale, mate. Got any other old ones, us? Two games, I think that's all I've got, actually. Okay. What about your shoes over there? What's the price on them? Are they different or? Okay. Yeah. I I pay to Okay. Perfect. You know, at the end of the day, you can see the state. They they kind of yeah. worn state. Some some are better than others. That's kind of a condition I buy them in, to be honest. Yeah. So all that sort of stuff. They they can be two each on the shoes. Two pound each. These all of them. Have you got any others in the back? Um, I think I can have one to come out. Yeah. Okay. Blood escapes three. See, I, I've, I've done this, but I can't. I, I, yeah. I much prefer it this way. You tried so, the eBay stuff. Selling it to, to people like yourself. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's much. Uh, yeah, less, less stressful, isn't it? eBay yeah. is very stressful at times. It is. Everyone thinks it's easy, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Got six pounds worth of shoes and four games, so tenner. Oh yeah. Oh, that's all that stuff's really. Yeah, I've sold a few of these before, to be honest. It's, it's, it's low in the game, really. Yeah. I'll take the uh, skates as well. Okay. There you go. Cheers, thank you very much, Tom. Thanks, mate. How much are these ones there? Two quid, mate. Two quid, yeah. Here they are. Morning. How are you doing? What time does it actually open on a Wednesday? I don't really know. I've got here like 20 past. Cheers. What are we doing now? Uh, one. How much did you say? Two quid? Yeah. Thank you. All right, cheers. Hello, mate. Yeah. Good, good, good. How about you? Oh, not too bad. How much did you want on the skateboard? How much on that one there? Uh, three pounds. Three pounds. You go two? Yeah. Yeah? That's all right. Did you say three? No, you said two. I oh, offered two. You oh, said yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. How much you boots here? Thirty. From the vans? Uh, the scenes. Fifteen. How much for your queue here? Paul, how much is your queue? I'm 115 on that, mate. 15? Yeah, but I'll go down to 12, yeah. What's the, uh, do you know who that is? Alex Higgins. Oh, Alex Higgins. Yeah, oh, yeah. Irish. Yeah, worth a few bob, that one. I looked it up. Yeah. It's about 150 quid, that one, believe it or not. Yeah. Well, I might have got it if it wasn't for that, but I'll probably leave it for now. Right. Cheers, though. All right, all right. Yeah. That's just a five of them, dear, dear. Can't have a more bracelet, yeah. Thank you. Fifteen bars. It goes well, mate. How much your hats down there and the shoes? Um, right, the boots are a fiver. Yep. Um, and this is. I was going to do that at tenner because it's still brand new. Okay. Still got the price on. What about the used ones? Paul, how much are the used hats? 
just the basic These ones one. I'm doing, well that one I'm on uh, oh. fibre for, because it's fibre. quite a yep. one. The other ones I do for a pound each plate. Like, okay. Know? Yeah, but that's the fibre that one. Uh, I, probably, I can do eight on that one if you're interested in, obviously that one. I've never been on my head, as you can see, it's, it's just come out of the bit of wood. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Cardboard. <laughs> Did you go five rule in for the hats? No. Okay, mate, yeah. Five yeah. for them as well? Yeah. So. You like the bag or? Yeah, yeah, all good. <laughs> Got my IKEA bags. <laughs> yeah, I'll take them. Uh, Lovely, there. thank you very much. Thank you, cheers. Yeah, they're all new down there, and you oh, five yeah. a piece then. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that, brand new shoes. Yeah. yeah. The ladies ride for only £2. Pounds. Yeah, I'll take them. Yeah. No worries. Fiver. How much are they each as well? They're just 50p. 50p. <laughs> you go pound 50 for the four? There you go. Lovely, thank you very much. Spending all my money with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit older, mate, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slim pickings today, so. That's it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lovely, cheers. Thank you. Thank you, have a nice day. Yeah. Oh, what's that one there? Yeah. Nearly, yeah. nearly walked away. Uh, <laughs> Another clock, yeah. yeah. It's just a pound. Got it. Just needs pound. a battery in it. I can't say no. Yeah. Can you see a copy there? <laughs> oh, really cool. I'll leave that. Yeah. I might come back. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers. How much are your boots here? Five pounds. Five pounds. Did you go four of them? Pound off? Yeah, all right. Yeah? I'll take them. Cheers. Oh. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. How much was the bike here? Um, two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah, yeah, it's a Strada, which is. A I know. Up. Yeah. Very, very rare. If you look on eBay, they're five hundred pounds. Yeah. That, 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 that I've seen. I've seen them before. They're quite but unique, thing, aren't they? My brother bought it brand new. <laughs> really. I paid six or seven hundred for it when he brought yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, lovely little. But look, it's, it's nice, isn't it? Ride, I tell you. It's yeah. Like, it's really strange, but. A bit different, isn't it, with the uh, triangle, yeah, that's right, triangle yeah. frame. Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave it though. I haven't got yeah, the money today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still two quid for the shoes? Um, or are they? No, they're a little bit more those, aren't they? How much for them? Uh, so, Four okay on them? Four. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. It's the biggest clue in the world, unfortunately. Yeah. How much on that it's one? Fifteen pounds. Fifteen. Which is pricey. But I think it's about forty-five. Yeah. That's right. A bit too beaten up for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers, though. How much for this one? Uh, seven quid. Seven. Um. You spy if you want it. Yeah, got it. Take that. 
How much on the green one? Probably worth a take. Under and twenty, sorry. Uh yeah, got it. How much on these two here? I think they're both the same what, Muddy Fox ones. Muddy Fox, yeah. Mm. Uh, 60 quid now. Uh, 15 <coughs> pair. 15 for the pair. Both got taken. Yeah. They're good both, Muddy Fox. I don't know, Tennis. Yeah, I mean, tell me. Yeah, I don't really dabble in clothing much, so I don't know. <laughs> Will you go 12 for these two? 15, I think. 15 is your best. 7 quid a jacket and they're about 50 quid. Yeah, go on then. 15. That's horrendously green, isn't it? Oh. Try to rock this out. Next 12 years. <laughs> yeah. I'm on my own, would you? Like DM lookalikes, but they're not, are they? Mm. These look interesting. Yeah, these have a round base. They're like um, climbing shoes or something, yeah, aren't they? I think they're probably like muscle building shoes. It's all, it's all um, TK Maxx stuff, but I don't know. A lot of it is, yeah, usually like green label TK Maxx, I think. Yeah, you can do it if you want. I've got that well from already. Sharing is caring. How much you got on these two? Those cut a bit, three quid. What, three quid for the two? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What about on that one there? What's that? Quick. Quick. Okay. Thank you. There's a fiver there for the lot. Oh great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry mate, just got that little one there as well. How much on that? Oh, good. Good, yeah? Great. Thanks, Thank sir. you. Hey guys, so good morning from Wednesday Car Boot. Um, yeah, not a bad car boot at all. Uh, only about three or four rows of cars, mostly just dealers, but still plenty of profit to be made. And you saw just then in the video that I picked up tons of decent stuff. Um, actually some clothing as well from one guy, some sort of like brand new tagged clothing. That is the only sort of clothing I would actually venture into if I was to sell clothing, so I'm pretty happy to spend the money. He wanted like £10 for a coat which had a tag of £120 on it. It's only Mountain Warehouse, so not the amazing brand, but still, in the shop, if you were to buy that, it would actually be 100 or quid. So I'm sure I can get 50, 60 quid for that. Very happy with the results. Good to see everyone. Sun shining. If this was Sunday, this would be a rammed field. There'll be cars overflowing. But obviously it's just Wednesday morning. Most people are at work, but it's still nice that we can get out and source the items. Anyway, back home now, just to go through exactly what I found. Hey guys, we are back in the garage. What an amazing car boot. I've just looked through all the stock I've got and it is actually really good for a Wednesday car boot. I'm very impressed. I'm gonna show you now and tell you what I paid. If there's any solds, I'll show you on the screen and hopefully you can see how much profit I will make. So we're gonna start off with this Ikea bag here, which is all from the first stall I went to. Yeah, this guy, I think he said he was a reseller in the past and he's just getting rid of stuff. It was all pretty decent stuff, you know, quite beating up a lot of it, but he said he knows what we're all doing. He knows we're all like eBay sellers and whatever. There's uh, Wilson, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, so he knows exactly what prices we normally pay for things and what we expect from it. So yeah, he was happy to do that, just to get it gone, get it shifted, and I paid very little money for everything in this bag, so I'll go over now exactly what I got. So to start off with, from this guy, we got the shoes, I got five pairs from him. Uh, he said a pound, no, he said two pound each for the pairs of shoes, 
And then I think on the slightly nicer ones or a bit more unique like this, I paid three pound for these ones. So yeah, anyway, I've also got these in my hand, might as well start with these. These are Luscious Skates. They kind of have the retro look. These do usually sell quite well. I've never actually picked up this brand before, but I looked at the condition, really good condition, good bearings in the wheels, paid three pound for them. And I'm looking at about 20 to 25 pound back on them. I've had people buy them in the past just for like roller discos and stuff, just for the sort of one-time use. They do sell well, so keep an eye out on them. I then picked up these, I think they were two quid. <laughs> they're, they're unbranded, but my my wife and my mother-in-law love these sort of little things just to potter around in the garden. They're kind of like the bottom half of a welly. There's no brand on them at all, but they look brand new. Um, yeah, two pound. Someone's probably gonna want them, pay 10, 15 quid for them. I then got these Adidas Superstars. I've sold these quite a few times. They can do with a good cleanup. They're pretty beaten up. But again, I paid, yeah, two pound and I'll be happy with 15 to 20 quid on them. And the slightly better one was these Under Armour Hover basketball shoes. So these are the, I think, Havoc Hover. Yeah. I didn't know at the time, but I saw the brand Under Armour. Quite a nice brand to look out for. Good condition again. I'll give them a nice good clean up. They should come up nicely. And I'll be looking at about 20 to 25 pound on these ones. Again, two pound. I then later on at the car boot went back to the same guy. Yeah, he had these sort of punk Zara men's shoes. They are a size 40 in euro. So whatever that is, maybe a size seven or an eight. Uh, yeah, so good clean condition again. Zara, good designer brand. Uh, he wanted £4. I probably could have got them for free if I offered, but he'd, he had provided me with some good stuff already in the morning, so I'm happy to pay £4 for them. Probably, I haven't checked sold, but just top of my head, 25 to 30 on those. You may have seen me pick these up as well. These are curtain tiebacks. <laughs> really nice, actually. These are quite chunky ones. Um, I only know about these because a few months ago we redid the living room and my wife had to buy a slightly smaller pair than this and she paid like 20 quid for some pre-owned uh just random tie backs off ebay because we couldn't find them anywhere so there is actually a good market for them if you have the right ones i'm hoping 20 quid back on those ones i mean i could maybe aim for a bit more I haven't checked sold yet but i'll try and show you a picture on the screen now and show you exactly what i can get for this sort of style and size they're quite chunky so probably for like the heavier curtain but just random this you know a little bit of knowledge about everything that's what reselling is and straight away when i walked up to him i saw these vintage board games he said a pound each i wasn't even gonna bother opening them up and having a look to be honest i just picked them up and said yep i'll take them because it was the first bar of the morning happy to get something in my bag we got mb games connect 4 again i haven't opened them up yet but looked pretty complete to me all the tiles there Really good one I've sold in the past, Formula One. I think the price on this has dipped a little bit. So I might even put these games in the loft just until Christmas time. I think right now these are selling for about 10 to 15 quid. I've sold it before for around 30, 35. Classic Waddington's Cluedo. I've sold this so many times in the past. I have got a game up there of the same one on the shelf, uh, just for spares and stuff. So if this is missing anything, I can just hopefully replace it from my donor game. And the same again for the Monopoly. I've got another one on the shelf over there. Paid a pound for that, 10 to 15 back on it, hopefully. Yeah, I'll probably just keep them in the loft till Christmas time. Give me a bit of stock to list once the car boot sales are off. And yeah, I can worry about it then. And the next stool, this, I actually got, again, loads of stuff from this one seller. Because it's like a Wednesday car boot and there's only about four lanes of cars, I was kind of just like really having a good look at what everyone had and just thinking, is there money in it? If there is, I'm buying it. Whereas at the Sunday one, I'm kind of like dotting around really quickly between each and every stool. And just glazing over even if there is sort of stuff that sells for 10 to 15 quid i'm looking for the sort of 30 to 35 pound items whereas this one i'm happy to spend a pound get a tenner back you know it's all bread and butter items we will start off with these caps i got from them really nice fans trucker sort of badge cap i never buy caps but i'm pretty happy with that checking solds i couldn't find this exact model but i reckon around 12 to 15 pound on that one Next up from them, we got this Nike camo cap. I want to say it's like vintage 90s Nike. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the sort of oldish logo. Um, especially with that on the inner there. It looks pretty old. It's definitely mid 2000s at least. They wanted originally £5 for that one and £2 for the others. So I managed to get all three of these for £5. And the last one of the caps was this McLaren 
F1, Team McLaren. Um, Juan Pablo, who was on the team, I think, in 2006, 2007 time. I'm not an expert on old F1. I do watch it now, like religiously, try and watch it every race that's on. Uh, so yeah, if it's modern, I'm keeping it probably for myself. But this one, someone's going to want that. Some McLaren fan from the early 2000s, probably get 10 to 15 quid on that. Probably one of the best finds of the day. These are Magnum police enforcement and sort of paramedic sort of shoes. Uh, these are only a size UK 8, so they are quite small. Unisex, you know, large women, small men. Brand new, you're looking at around sort of 100, 115 pound for these, which is crazy for Magnums. Uh, Pre-owned condition, I'll be happy with 50 to 60. Uh, I checked the condition on the soles, hardly anywhere at all. Bit of mud in there, but I'll get all that off during the cleaning process. From the same stall, I got this Seiko Quartz wall clock. It's such random stuff I pick up, but... <laughs> There is a story behind this one. I picked up a Seiko wall clock about four years ago at a car boot. I wanted to sell it, but my wife said, put it on the wall, we'll keep it. Cause it is quite a nice clock to be fair. Um, and I haven't, I haven't come across one since apart from today. So paid a pound for this one. When I first picked one up, I did check the solds and I was looking at about 20 to 25 pound, which is crazy just for a quartz wall clock. But it is, you know, it's a good well-known brand. Um, so yeah, I'd be happy with 20 quid on that one. Again, from the same stall, this was, I saw these brand new formal shoes. I don't know the brand, but I just saw they've got the original tag on them. They've got all the little inserts in the shoes. Brown leather. Someone's going to want them just for like a quick wedding or something like that. Uh, I paid £4, I think, or £5. But they are a UK size 10, if anyone's wondering. Made in England. Brown leather shoes, brand new. There's always going to be a market, even if the brand's not very well known. They're a nice style. Minimum 20 quid but I'll be hoping for like 30 to 35 on them. And this is what I mean by sort of random finds just to sort of build up the shop. These were 50p each. I've got four of these Airwick sprayers. Um, I picked them up because 50p and I've seen these in like Sainsbury's going for like 10 quid I think each. So I've got four of them. So I could do two lots of two, maybe 10 to 15 quid each, give them a clean up, make sure they, they work. But this it's just so random you know <laughs> this next one it's like a light up alarm clock it's made by lumi i have heard of the name before i don't think i've ever sold it i think she said two uh three quid i offered two she took that and i just figured there's got to be some more money in it than that so at least 10 to 15 quid i'll show you a sold on the screen and we will see if i can profit from it again i haven't tested it it's quite dusty and horrible it needs a good clean up it's got a bit of fluff and sticky stuff there but that's normal for a car boot. You gotta get used to that if you wanted to resell. Uh, my last car boot I went to, I picked up a pair of hotters, got home and they were disintegrating at the soles. And I told myself I'll never pick up hotters again, but I lied because there's some hotters right there. You can see that they're brand new. They got a zipped sort of side to them. I did test the sole at the uh, car boot and saw that it was still solid and not breaking apart in my fingers. Um, she wanted a fiver, I offered her four, got them for four quid and checking solds, actually quite good brand new around 35 pound pre-owned 30 25 to 30 but these are actually brand new just without the box this is a mag light made in california america uh i haven't tested it with batteries looks all right to be fair it's a really long one fully metal good weapon if you need it for that <laughs> i saw that and then i saw this electrician's voltage checker. I've never sold anything like this before, but I just thought there's got to be some money in electrician's tools because it's quite a skilled job, needs to be safe and everything. Anyway, I took these two to him and he said five pound, no, he said three pound for the two. So I've literally one pound 50 each. I did check sold before that and brand new, you're looking at sort of a hundred pound for these. Pre-owned, I think there was one for 30, but again, I'll be happy with 25, 35 quid on it. We'll see what happens. Whilst rummaging through those boxes, I did find this vintage Sony radio. These are really popular sort of for the sort of tradies and whatever. They love the sort of small radios still. Really nice condition. But you can see, yep, straight aerial. No cracks or damage on this. Paid a pound. Seems to all work all right there. I haven't tested it yet with batteries. Bit of a corrosion on the batteries, but I think the actual terminals... I think the actual terminals themselves are all right you probably can't see that but they don't look too bad yeah lovely condition radio paid a pound didn't check the soles in the field but i thought pound for this vintage radio at least 10 to 15 but checking the soles now i can see someone got about 30 pound for it in this condition so 
Excellent find. And now for the absolute win of the day. This is a mountain warehouse coat, brand new with tags. It's a size extra, extra large, so very big, but I'm sure someone out there is gonna want it. It's fully waterproof. It's got all its tags on it and everything like that, as I said just then. This guy had a load of brand new clothing. I don't ever sell clothing. I hate it, can't stand it. But unless it's got <laughs> brand new tags on it at a good price, I'm gonna pick it up, of course, if I'm standing right in front of him. He was um he was checking the tags. I, I don't know how he got it, but it was all sort of TK Maxx stock, it seemed like. So he was checking the tags and then giving me a price working off that. So he, he looked at this tag, he said, oh, that's £120 on that. It's gotta be worth a tenner. So <laughs> I kind of had a little laugh in my head and I thought, yep, of course I'm gonna buy that for a tenner. Um, I've been in Mountain Warehouse before, I've bought stuff from them, I've bought a jumper from them once before and that was like 35, 40 quid. So this fully waterproof coat, paying a tenner for it, brand new with tags, I'll be aiming for around 80, 85 quid. Uh, the only issue is, I did buy some other clothing, it's got a bit of a fishy smell to it, I don't know if he's been storing it in a unit or something, it's got a sort of, this one's not too bad, but the other uh, Muddy Fox ones and a DC coat I got. They're currently hanging in the garden right now in the sun, just trying to cook off that sort of musty smell. But that's, in the field, it's a bit weird if you're buying something and then you're going sniffing it right in front of the uh, seller. I find it weird, so I don't do it. I take that risk. I've done it a load of times with shoes where I've got it home and it stinks of smoke and I just chuck them in the bin usually because they're very difficult to get the uh, smell out. That is the risk you take. Luckily, the good one is the freshest out of them all. Um, hopefully the sun can cook them out. I'll show you a photo. <laughs> I haven't actually got them on me right now because I can't bother to go and grab them. But again, the Muddy Fox ones had £55 each on them. Uh, he gave me a price of 15 for the two. I tried to haggle. 15 is fair. So that's £7.50 each for the coats. They're both the same. Again, extra, extra large. Uh, mountain bikers, all them people, they, they want them. Uh, I'm sure I can get at least £30, £35 each back. And they're also brand new of tags, just like this one. Uh, the DC one, again, someone's going to want it. Extra large, brand new of tags. And that one owed me a fiver, so I'll be happy with 20 to 25 pound back on that. All right, and there we have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that car boot. Uh, yeah, surprising. It was actually a really good car boot for me. I think it's probably the fact that most resellers are at work or they don't bother going to it just because it is a smaller car boot. The Sunday ones are still my best, though, of course. You find there's just the choice of so much stock and you find so much stuff. Always get that one good item that's worth sort of 100 to 200 pound that makes your morning it's all part of the game <laughs> anyway sales are good everything's on track so far had a bit of a quiet day yesterday with only i think one sale but these things happen i haven't been putting much effort into the shop because i've been on holiday just for over the weekend we plan with all this new stock just to get it going again and really pump the numbers get back on track to that 10 listings a day and just go from there and the circle will continue also before i go i just want to say i've had a load of messages from people asking about tax details and how to handle HMRC and all that kind of stuff, how I handle my books. All I do is keep a simple spreadsheet. I don't want to give out tax information though, so I'm not going to say anything about what I do properly. <laughs> I just keep track of it and I just write down everything that I brought with the car boot that day, exactly the prices I paid, keep track of it, give it, put a total against it and put it against my monthly outgoings and just tot it all up at the end of the month against all my sales and whatnots and just go from there. I don't use any of the other apps like QuickBooks or anything. It's not for me. Uh, I'm happier just doing it like this. My wife helps me with the books as well and just helps me maintain it better because I'm not that organized. I'm not going to make a separate video or anything on tax. I'm happy doing the car boot hunts, but it's not my field. I don't want to be giving out false information, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there. Other people do this, they, they can show you. Also, just go on the HMRC website yourself and look it up that way, because I'm not the guy to talk to about it. So I do appreciate you guys watching. It's just, I can't give out false information and kind of be held accountable for it if it is wrong. So with all that said and done, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.